Good morning. Welcome to another day with Ellie and Lucas. Today, we are finally taking the results of the survey that you've sent us a long time ago. I think it was when we got to like 100 or 200 subscribers. Some big goal that I've forgotten now. You all said we should go to Bersh's garden and Trier. And here we finally are in Bersh's garden. It's been at least a year and I'm so sorry. But we are very glad we're here. Although we can't really appreciate the beauty of it because I mean, look around. It's a little foggy, but it'll clear up by the time we leave, we think. So it's okay. So we're, our fingers are crossed that there's something beautiful. So today we've crossed the Königsee lake, lake, Königsee, whatever. And uh, we're going to go look for two huts on the Obersee. There's one on each end that are pretty iconic for photos. Of course, they've been photographed in every angle to death, but uh, it have. feels fun to take the photo yourself. Yeah. So we're gonna go, yeah, we're gonna go do that. And maybe we'll go see some waterfalls depending on the time. And then this afternoon, we're gonna try to make it to another place which you'll get to see if we make it. So stay tuned for the video. <laughs> Off we go. Ten minutes later and we've made it to the first hut. So far, so good. And everything's really pretty. And the fog's I'm lifting foggy. in weird ways. So like you get these weird effects. Like right now the fog's like a layer so you can see some of the mountain and then clouds. <laughs> one hut down, one more hut to go. It'll be about a 30 minute walk to get to the other side. Almost around the lake, but uh, we've come to some stairs, and they're uh, they're a little sketchy to say the least. Hardly stairs, just an attempt at stairs. We made it to hut number two. And the scenery over here is gorgeous like usual. Probably can't see it, but right over there is a waterfall. We're gonna go walk to it. I think it's about another half hour. We're gonna take this moment while we're walking to the waterfall to talk a little bit about what it's like to come here. So once, if you wanna come see like the huts and the waterfall once you've taken the boat early in the morning, early in the morning. Um, for us that was at nine that was the first one um, you get to the spot at the other end of the of Koenigsee and then you hike about 10 minutes to the first hut that 10 minutes is fine then it's 30 minutes to the other side of Obersee to the next hut and let's say the first 20 minutes of that is quite fine and then you get to some kind of weird looking rock steps you just have to be a little careful they're certainly not great but if you just take your time you'll be fine and then you get to go to the waterfall like we're doing and we're not too far yet but so far it's pretty fine it's just really hilly so lots of going up It 
it's probably just the uh, time of the year, but this last little leg to the waterfall trail, super muddy and sleek. I just stepped in a lot of mud. But we're almost there. I mean, we can absolutely see it and hear it. So, we made it to the first waterfall. And it's cool, but you can't really get that close to it, actually. And then there's another one. And that's what I'm going to right now. Climbing a bunch. Oh, there's a climb. Because oh. the... Interestingly, the waterfalls seem to just kind of like get really quickly absorbed in the like soil systems here because like Here it is And then here is where it definitely flows down, but you can see there's like nothing there So like the water really spreads out quickly and so suddenly you don't have anything What were your thoughts about the waterfalls? Not as impressive up close. Why not? Um, well, you couldn't really see that one for one. I'm not sure where it drains to. But at least the second one we got like up to it. Yeah, that's true. But it's still kind of, it's not like a path, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so like, if you've seen it in the past, we went to Treeburg and we saw the waterfalls there. I know. If you haven't seen that video, there'll be a link somewhere up here. You can go check it out. And Treeburg has some really large waterfalls as well. And those you basically get to hike up alongside the whole time, so you really get to feel like the waterfall. And these, it's very hard to, because you can only kind of get so close, and then it's just like, oh yeah, there's a waterfall. And we've learned that this is technically Germany's highest waterfall because it has the most drop. It has over 400 meters of drop, whereas in Treeburg, they say that that is Germany's highest waterfall, but that is false because it only has like 160 meters of drop. We're sure some of you will be able to tell us in the comments. So let us know down below. Now we have to walk back to our boat and then enjoy the Königsee without the fog. <laughs> the fog. <laughs> Without the fog, that should be pretty cool. And then off to our special dinner place for the evening, hopefully. So we got off the boat and Ellie was hungry and I'm also hungry, but we're eating in a couple hours ideally. So we didn't want to eat a lot. So we got snacks. So Ellie's mom got some ice cream. Ellie got some ice cream and I got some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> it's a banana split. I've actually never eaten a banana split in my entire life. And um, since Ellie's mom got a amaretto back here and it was seven euros, this was also seven euros. So I felt like this was worth the money and I didn't feel so bad. I've also never had a banana split. I don't even know how. I guess we'll just start by a banana. Oh dear. These spoons are too small for this. Mm. That's good. I think it's also really cool to point out that this is where they store their boats in the winter. They have 19 of them. Hello. I'm having my fourth scoop of ice cream today. I guess I've really been craving ice cream. Um, but you can see up there is the Kalestrein house or the Eagle's Nest. And we have decided we were going to try and make it tonight, but we didn't because we only had like seven minutes to get there and it takes 15 minutes to drive there before the last drive up. And then we would have had to just get right back on the bus and come back down because they, the last 
drive down is only 15 minutes then later. So we decided not to do it. And I'm sad because I feel like there's a really great view from up there and that is like the second most reason that I came down here. But there will be other times. We thought about going tomorrow morning, except for the fact that if we, we have to leave tomorrow for Essen and we have an eight hour drive and we don't want to get back super late. And getting up there would take a while anyways. So plus there would be cloud cover and fog likely, so. We just decided we won't do it this trip. But we still had a really fun day. We just got done eating supper. It was delicious. I always like going to the restaurants that um, usually you say like Zoom something or Zur. things like that. Or Zur. Yeah, those always seem to be the more traditional German kind of places. It was really good. I had um, schnitzel with like a mushroom cream sauce on top and schnitzel. That was delicious. And then I had apple strudel, which was my favorite one of the three we've had on this trip. So, ever? What about of ever? this trip. What about ever? ever. I think I like the one in Garmisch Park and Kirschen best. Ever. So, currently, I prefer strudel in Germany over Austria. I'm sorry if we have Austrian viewers. I also prefer schnitzel in Germany over Austria oh. because I like the sauce. Yeah. I find it in Austria, it's very, it's not dry per se, but yeah. without a sauce, it feels dry. Yeah. Today we decided that we'd eat breakfast in our hotel and we looked out the window this morning. There isn't as much fog. There isn't as much fog today, not nearly as much fog, and it kind of looks like the Kaelstein house or the eagle's nest is more cleared off. There's a little bit of clouds up there, but not much. So we're hoping that it will allow us a greater view into the city and the surrounding areas. And also by the time we get up there, we hope that the sun will have cleared a little bit more of the fog. So even though we got to the ticket stand at like 8.58 and the first bus leaves at nine, our tickets were written for 9.20. So if we would have gotten here maybe like five minutes earlier, we probably could have made it on a bus but no buses left because no one was here. But I highly recommend to get here at 9 a.m. or like when they first open because there's no one here. So we are almost there. The thing's actually above us, but um, we had to take the bus to get here and then there's an elevator. Oh, so there's we're an super elevator? Close. Yeah. You better not be joking. It is. We are officially at the top. It's snowing, it's snowing. Because we're so high up. We are really, really high up. I love it. So I think as a somewhat paradoxical rule of Berkshire Scott, and oh, this is beautiful. Holy crap. Um, like lots of touristic things, the earlier you get there, the more time you have to yourself there. But in Berg just got in early in the morning, I'm out of breath, is when you have the most likelihood of fog and cloud cover higher up in the mountains. And so later in the day, you won't have that as much as the sun heats up the clouds and they rise. But then you have to do a lot of uh, touristic traffic. So it's kind of hard. However, right now, it's kind of cleared up just a little bit. Enough that you can kind of see a lot of cool different things. And this view right here is just, just stunning. I love this mountain range over here. Ellie, thoughts on the top of the mountain? It's definitely a very pretty view. And we finally found where Koenigsee is. So you can see where we were last night. And I was right, you could see the spot from like our hotel and where we um, 
where we got off of our boat tour. But, I don't know. Personally, I feel like it's kind of weird coming up here for me. Like, I know that Hitler was not a good person and stuff. I like the view, so I definitely, like, think that's really cool. But the context of it is kind of weird. But, like, why should I not enjoy the view? I don't know. Thoughts? I understand it was used by a not-so-great person a long time ago. I think it's important to recognize things in his like, um, monuments and buildings in history were used for not-great purposes or for great people sometimes. But that, I don't think, should reflect on their, like... Current beauty or existence. importance yeah. or people's enjoyment of them today. You should just remember and be knowledgeable that it happened or its significance in history. I think that's what's important. All right. And so with that, it's time to go back down or something. Technically, our tickets let us be up here till 1130. But I do know we want to leave to get home sooner than later. I assume you can use your ticket to go down whenever. You don't have to use the time specified. Um... We ate breakfast, so it's not like we're going to eat here at the restaurant. But there is a restaurant if you wanted to come eat up here. Um, also, yesterday, Ellie found out that they don't really do group tours anymore for COVID reasons. But they do do private tours, so I, we don't really know what that entails, but they do exist. So there is a way to get a tour. And um, the building is basically used as a restaurant nowadays. But for tours, they do have, I guess, some rooms and stuff like that where they'll talk about some of the finer things. But you can pretty much access everything. Okay, so we are down from the top of the mountain and uh, did a little souvenir shopping and now it's time to go home. But um, we don't want to bore you with the whole eight hour drive there, so we're going to call it quits here for the video. <laughs> Any last mm -hmm. goodbye thoughts? Okay, well then yeah, we hope you enjoyed the video. Oh. Remember to like, comment, subscribe below if you're new or if you're not. And we will see you next time.